Welcome to Winnipeg, Manitoba, where today fifth ranked Valor FC faces seventh place York United. It is, we'll take a look at the uh, home team lineup, and uh, Phil Dos Santos makes only one change to the Valor FC starting 11 that played Cavalry in uh, midweek, and that is a forced change. Andy Baccaro is serving a suspension. As far as uh, York United is concerned, Barry Smith is filling in for head coach Martin Nash, who is in COVID protocol, and he selects an unchanged 11 from the team that uh, beat Halifax Wanderers last Monday. It's, it's for his development, it's a, it's, it's a good move for him. Well, you, you can certainly see if he does continue his development, his progression, you can see him taking the step up to the full MLS level. But it'll take some seasoning at uh, the next pro level. As there's a strike coming off the foot of Rendon, and it's just over top. For for vast majority of it. Um, coming back on loan, it's great to see that Phil DeSantos has given Yesley the opportunity because Nothing better than a vote of confidence from your coach. There's a ball for Dyer, and it is just beyond the far post, but I think there was a deflection, a tip from Giantsopoulos, and he was just onside as that ball came through, and he managed to strike it with the left foot across body volley. Swinger headed away. Only as far as Rea, who sends it right back into the box. Moses Dyer with a shot, and Chinesopoulos goes down to block for Huben. On his favorite left foot, he's got an open shot. He's got to try and hit the target there, but instead it's a, it's a yoke throw on the other side. There's a shot from distance, and that was this free kick. Looking to put it into the center of the box. He does just that and it bounces off the turf and over top of the net as the goalkeeper had committed himself and did not claim the ball. But that was fortunate for York United. That's a near perfect delivery and John baptiste has got to score that. It's, it's on his head, he's, he's got across. Valor is quickly on the attack. There's Billy Forbes opening for Sean Rhea. Chance, score! Valor have jumped into the lead just 30 seconds into the second half. And it is that man again, Sean Rhea, who has been an absolute demon for York United this season. Yeah, I think, he, I think he would have told them at halftime, I'm going to give you a couple minutes, change the way things are going, or there'll be people coming on. And obviously you don't expect 30 seconds in, but uh, they'll be on red alert that there's spots up for grabs now. Here's another chance, and this is Billy Forbes hitting one off the post. And Fowler, just a couple of minutes after scoring, come close to doubling their lead. It's off the left foot of Billy Forbes. Levi's with the tackle, but it's Saw recovers. It's back to Zator. Crossing attempt headed away by Fordyce. Dyer, nice flick on to Sean Rea. Rea sends Billy Forbes. He's in the clear. He can bring it under control. Forbes scores! And Valor have doubled their lead. And it comes off the foot of Billy Forbes. They've had a very, very good last five, ten minutes since they made the substitutions. They've been very good, the better team, but to get that sucker punch. Played back, Di Rosario, save, rebound, and Di Rosario puts it just wide. Verhoeven with the free kick, and it is smothered by Rayan Yesley as time winds down and the final whistle comes from referee Alain Rouge and Valor have earned a second consecutive 2-0 victory.